This shirt's super special to me because I was there when the streak ended at WrestleMania. I What's up everybody, Tony Beats Guy here and it's kind of weird to see my face on this YouTube channel because it's been a little bit since I've actually had a video with me in it doing something that's going to be wrestling related. Now we do have a wrestle crate unboxing but I wanted to include it with a life update and kind of tell you what's going on because this is wrestling related and this goes hand in hand with my YouTube channel. So let's talk about that. First I want to mention this shirt's super special to me because I was there when the streak ended at WrestleMania. I was live and I got to see the streak end. This is a pretty cool shirt. It came in the Russell Crate, but we'll get more into the Russell Crate as it goes along. WrestleCrate.com. Use code Tony sent me. Save some money. Uh, but let's talk about this. As you know, uh, or may or may not know, I'm working on a lot of awesome things at the time that are actually taking me away from this YouTube channel. One of the things I was working on is working on web design. I don't know if you know that, but I actually do web design all the time. Um, and as web design, I was getting caught up in this one website that was just giving me this headache. For some reason, it was stuck in maintenance mode. I couldn't figure out what to do. I had to clear the cache and get it all figured out. If you know anything about website design, you might know what I'm talking about, but I was trying to get that set up and I finally today got that behind me. So that website is complete. Another thing that I'm doing um, unrelated to YouTube is I'm working on filming commercials for my production company, 1032 Productions. Um, with that production, it's me and Jeremy or Jack Lubash. If you've seen him on my channel before, the OMG Wrestling Podcast. I've done videos with him before. We did Universe Mode, all this fun stuff. But I'm actually working on uh, commercials for a few companies. And I'm actually working with a guy who's doing uh, technical combat type stuff. And I'm going to be filming like 100 videos for him. And that's another source of uh, income that I do because I do a lot of freelance stuff like I said the web design and I'm gonna be doing commercials I actually already am doing some commercials and I'm working on some uh, other commercials and I actually have one coming up next week that I have to film again but that's behind the point that's what I'm doing off of YouTube if you haven't seen me I've been going to the gym a lot trying to get into shape and one of the reasons I really want to go to the gym and get into shape just because I you know it's also a good healthy thing but I also want to get ready for my wrestling promotion and I'll talk a little bit about that in a second but I also um, well, I'll talk about that in a second let's just tell you another thing a project of mine that I have been filming for an entire year now if you don't know I've been working on marks the documentary about what did I documentary the documentary about professional wrestling fans now this is something that we've actually been working on since last wrestle not this wrestlemania but last wrestlemania like a year ago we started filming and we actually filmed up to this year's wrestlemania we still have some minor details some pickup shots we have to do here and there but we are going to be finishing that up. We're actually working on editing that next week. We're starting on the editing process. And wow, is it going to be a process because we have a year's worth of footage. We have Frank the Clown, Noel Foley, all these wrestlers that are involved in it. And it's just, uh, it's a pretty exciting process. It's pretty, pretty cool. And I know that there are some people that have actually uh, helped us on the Indiegogo a long, long time ago and helped us get this documentary started, gave us a little money, which was great. And don't think that you're not going to get those rewards because we are actually working on those rewards also uh, when we meet and talk about this. It's going to be three of us going through all this footage and putting this documentary together. And I want to give you a heads up. Our goal right now is to have it done and show it sometime at WrestleMania next year. That is the ultimate goal. I would love to show it at WrestleCon maybe or show it at, uh, I don't know, maybe one of my events when I actually uh, start running wrestling shows. So that's something that uh, we are working on. I just want to give you an update that the documentary, yes, it is still coming. You probably have forgotten about it, which is fine. I get it because I haven't talked about it a lot, but the reason I haven't talked about it is because I wanted to get all the filming done and I wanted to get everything done before I start moving on doing other things with it and process. So process is we made it a year WrestleMania. We have to do some pickup shots and then we'll be ready to edit it all together. We're actually going to start working on the editing process, putting all the footage together, compiling it up. Uh, we're going to have three Macs going at the same time editing this thing. I think uh, Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro, one or the other. I'll probably use Adobe Premiere because I'm used to it. But Mark's 
It's Still Real to Me, the documentary about you, the wrestling fans, started last year, all the way to this year's WrestleMania, and we'll see what comes of it. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be a, a process trying to put that all together. And let's talk about the other thing that I am working on. Um, so if you didn't know, I used to be affiliated with Magnum Pro, local independent wrestling company. Uh, decided that me and Jeremy decided together by, uh, he didn't drag me along or I didn't pull him out of Magnum. We decided, you know what? We can use our talents to create something awesome and exciting for ourselves. Why don't we create our own wrestling promotion? And that's what we are doing now. We're actually working very, very hard to get this wrestling promotion up. It is called Now This Is Wrestling. If you want to check out some of the YouTube videos, some of the Facebook videos, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff, we have it all up for you guys to check out. But you can go to nowthisiswrestling.com. I'll link you to everything. But it's very, very cool because we are working with Vince Russo. That's right. Vince Russo is the principal owner of the company. And he's going to be making all the final decisions of this company. Um, I don't know what to say. It's Vince Russo, the guy that helped write for WWE, went over to WCW, tried to help that out, went to TNA. Dude's been everywhere. He gets a bad rap, I know, because of some of the things he says and some of the things he does. But uh, you just need to think about this, that... Vince Russo likes to, when the camera's rolling, he likes to stay in the character. So some of the things you may have seen him said on TV are in character. And some of the things you've seen him say behind the scenes might be in character, might not. I don't know. But honestly, meeting with Vince Russo, talking with him, and actually getting to feel him out, I think he's a, he's a great dude. At this point in his life, I think he's finally um, taking a step back. And I think he really realizes that he doesn't want to be the focal point of professional wrestling and he wants to help the future generations of pro wrestling. At least that's what I've gotten out of him. You might have a different impression from him, but if you sit down and you talk with him and you meet with him, you could see the real Vince Russo. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't judge a book by its cover as far as anybody goes. You know, everybody hears things about guys here and hears things about guys here, but me talking to Vince Russo, I'll say he's a great guy. When I talk to him, you know, I just have nothing bad to say about the guy and he really wants to help us out. He said, I want to meet you. I want to meet you face to face because if I don't want to just take your money and not give you anything in return. I want to actually help you guys out and I want to help you grow and I want to help you the right way. And that's something I'm very, very excited about because it's not just like we're paying him money, he's coming to the show. No, he's actually going to help us behind the scenes, help us with talent, help us with everything that he can possibly do in his mind to help us out. And that's exactly what we want to use him for. And I'm very, very awesome and very excited to have him on board. We have a lot of cool things coming up, but I will let you know if you're in the Omaha, Nebraska, Council Bluffs, Iowa, Kansas City, anywhere within a radius, you know, like Chicago, Midwest area, come out August 20th at the Slowdown, Omaha, Nebraska. You can go to nowthisiswrestling.com for more information. But we will have tickets up soon, and I just wanted to get that out of the way, and that coincides with what I was talking about a little bit earlier, is going back to the gym and trying to get into shape. Well, following this video, I'll be heading out to the gym right there and uh, getting that taken care of. Uh, the reason being is because I want to be in shape. I want to lead by example. I want to be a good role model for these wrestlers. I don't want to be a fat, overweight, out of shape guy who really doesn't have any place uh, running a company if he's telling guys you know what you need to eat better you need to make sure you lift weights you need to think think about your bodies you need to take care of yourself but I'm not doing that that's not the kind of person I want to be sure other people can do that they can do that but I want to lead by example I want to be in the, in the best shape I can and be the best person I can mentally and physically when I am running this company because you know what people look at you and they're like this guy he looks like a slouch. He looks like a slob. He looks like a bum. I don't want to be that kind of guy. So I'm working on that, uh, doing a lot of cool stuff, and it's very, very cool. Also, uh, I've been spending a lot of time with my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> that's it. That's all I'm going to say about that. Don't want to get too much into that. I hate bringing up personal life and, and girlfriend and all that, but she is awesome. She is great. She is amazing. I'm glad I'm with her. Uh, makes every day better helping me get into shape. She's going to the gym with me as well, so that's a plus right there. She's getting into wrestling. She really likes Roman Reigns and AJ Styles, so who's she gonna cheer for at Extreme Rules? Who knows? But we are going to end that part. That is what's going on. 
Websites, commercials, movies, wrestling promotion, Vince Russo, Tony Pizza Guy, that's that. Oh yeah, I'm also working on a different store for Tony Pizza Guy, if that's something you guys are interested in. I have more merchandise, something that I wanna get up. So let's go into the Wrestle Crate box. This is the first one, the Undertaker Streak shirt. You've probably been staring at it the whole time. You see how it is, the streak is over, the streak is over, the streak is over. All right, let's go into the rest of the Wrestle Crate box here. Woo! Again, WrestleCrate.com, save 10% with Tony sent me. And the monthly box of wrestling goodies. All right! I already got a sneak peek of this, as you probably know, but I wanted to put the shirt on for this video. So we have a pin right here, which is the World Heavyweight Championship. And it is exclusive from lapelyeah.com. L-A-P-E-L, yeah.com. Pretty cool. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. And then we have Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Condemned. I've actually never seen this movie. I heard it was decent. Uh, it's a WWE Films movie, so we'll see how that is. I heard it was very, very decent. Uh, decent is the word I will use on that. Um, we have an awesome action figure here. This is so cool. This is the coolest figure I've ever... like. That's really cool. It's ECW Championship, Terry Funk. The face is perfect. He looks amazing. It reminds me of the time that he won the title. And he has a branding iron also. That is so cool. This is a really, really awesome figure. He's 6'1", 247, double cross ranch, Armad Armadillo, Texas. Spinning toe hold from 1997 in ECW is this attire. He is the ECW champion and a 2009 Hall of Fame inductee. So that's pretty awesome. And then in here we got a couple other things. We have an autograph by Rob Van Dam. And that is his real signature because I've actually met RVD. I was with Smalls. Shout out to Smalls if you're watching this video. Uh, I actually met him and Smalls had Rob Van Dam sign his medical marijuana card. So that's something that's cool. <laughs> and last but not least, we have a House of Hardcore poster. Do you always include these posters in there? And it's really, really cool just to spread the brand awareness of House of Hardcore. Rob Van Dam's on there again. And then we have a lot of cool other people. So April 15th, April 16th. Um, yeah, there's Col Boom Boom Colt Cabana. There's a lot of people on here. But that's the Wrestle Crate for this month anyway, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below of the Wrestle Crate. Again, save 10%. Use code Tony sent me. I really like the Terry Funk figure, so it was worth it for me. I'll watch the Condemned movie. It's going to be hilarious. But Wrestle Crate, the original monthly box of wrestling goodies. Woo! So that is that, guys. I appreciate you guys sticking around my channel watching. I'll be back with more. I have a lot of cool ideas that I want to get up here. Um, it's just a very trying time with uh, YouTube trying to get the Now This Is Wrestling promotion up. But I will let you know this with Now This Is Wrestling, which I didn't mention. Um, we're going to be focusing on YouTube and online infrastructure far as videos go. So you will be looking at the ability to watch shows even if you're not in the Omaha area. So that is a plus and that is something that's going to be very, very cool because I feel the nicest way possible wrestling fans are lazy so if you can bring the product to them as easy as possible you'll be able to get it out there and it's going to be awesome so anyway guys let me know what you think in the comments section below just quick little update here maybe not quick enough but that's all i got for this video as always tony beats guy rag out to